Right. Um, we're going to make this up now. We are literally, that's the plan. All I've got is sermon. So who, who's bought any presents? This is the plan. Christmas Day, you bring presents and we attempt to prove to you that everything is a sign of God's glory, that everything is about Jesus. What have you got? Theo, did you bring a present? You bring it about five? Well, bring me about one. Pick one. What, what did you bring? Tell me. Ooh, it pops. Tell me what it's for. Are they what, what kind of thing? What, night vision goggles. Oh, for reading at night, etc., and finding bad guys. Yeah. Night vision goggles. Okay. Night vision goggles. We can work with that. Who else has got any presents, what they brung with them? Battle Cat from He-Man. Battle Cat from He-Man. I don't know if you're familiar with Battle Cat from He-Man. I remember Battle Cat from He-Man. Who doesn't know He-Man? He-Man. Yeah. yeah. The power of Grayskull. Yeah. No, no, he's come back around. Battle Cat. Right. Which kind of, you already had He-Man, right? You already had He-Man. This is kind of to, com, to add to the set. This is more on top of what you already had. Great. Battle Cat from He-Man. All right. We can do something with this. Anybody else brung a present with them? Spare Battle Cat from He-Man. Great. I see. Always have a backup. What have we got? We've got a wave at the back. We've got a wave at the back. What do you got? What did you bring? Your jumper. Your jumper. Brilliant. What does it say on it? The North Face. Okay, a North Face jumper. We can work with that. Anything else? Go on. Brew dog socks. Oh, socks. Do you know Brew Dog? They make nice beer. Brew Dog apparently do merch. Brew Dolph. Oh, I miss that. It's the masks. Brew Dolph. Ale related. I try, yeah. yeah. It is. It's a picture of a thing with a beer. A tie. You got a tie. This is not this year's Christmas present, is it, Grumps? It is. This is this year's. This is this year's Christmas present. All right, a tie. For me. All right, here we go. You bought something as well, didn't you, Simon? You got given something. Don't open it. Let me have this. Let me show everybody. We can talk about that. I've got a thing. All right. Esther, what you got? You've got a light-up necklace in your stocking. Right. Okay. Have we got... Jonathan's got something. What do you got, Jonathan? A new assistant organist. Jonathan's got a new assistant organist. You are a Christmas present. Okay. You got something with you, Amelia? Go on. Okay, you, you got a decoder set. Yes, you did get like a spy decoder set. I remember that. Okay, so we've got a decoder set. We've got Battle Cat. We've got night vision goggles. I've got a mystery present. I don't know what's in it. Um, I've got a tie. What have I missed? Brew dog, a uh, brew dolph. And. Uh, a light-up necklace, and I will now talk for one minute without hesitation. Battle Cat. I've got Battle Cat. I've got night vision. I don't, we're not doing everybody's present. I got beer. I got beer. Right, Richard, have we got a sermon here? Uh, we've always it doesn't sermon, have to be yeah. one sermon. It can be eight little sermons. I mean, you just look like a picture of joy to me, Esther, in your light-up necklace, right? And even after knowing that people would turn up with joyous things, you knew there were going to be cheesy little things today, and yet when she walked in the door wearing that, pleased as punch and as happy as you like, I was still delighted. And that is Christmas for me every year. I know what's coming, 
and it still delights me. And there's something very special about, about something that will do that even when you know it is coming, like a visit from an old friend. So I think Jesus at Christmas and church at Christmas and being with each other, we shouldn't allow ourselves to get tired and worn out with it because it's still special every time, even when you know what's coming. And Esther is a light to the world because of Jesus. There you go. Easy one. Take whichever one you like, Richard. Well, I think the, the night vision goggles, you are a joy, Theo. And now I can be confident in the knowledge that you will be able to find your way directly to our bedroom at three o'clock in the morning <laughs> to wake us up and kick me in the side. <laughs> Safely. They remind me, though, those and Amelia's little decoder thing, that that what we do is not always necessarily straightforward, that you have got to look, you've got to pay attention. You might need even help. You might need to, you can't just open your Bible and go, oh, it says this, I'll do that. Um, I, Val had got a word, sometimes Val prays and God tells her things and she tells me, um, can I share this one? And she got a, this bit from Ezekiel and I'm glad she got the right one because the word before says, make sure you're wearing your turban and your sandals. And <laughs> I don't have a turban. So, you, but you need to know what will be going on with that, and we have things that help us work stuff out. That Christianity is, is simple, but it's not. But it's good that we have access to books and smart people and things like that, because if you spend the time and the effort and you do it together, it is still fun to decode and work out the message of Christmas. There you go. Battle cat. cat. When, I, when I was about this size, I was obsessed with He-Man. Like, I was a member of the He-Man fan club, like everything. It was like, you know, it was big. And seeing that toy reminds me that Christmas is about the here and now, but it's also about reflecting on our past, my earlier childhood Christmases, which I always loved, all those people who were there with us then who aren't with us today. We remember them. Yes. Uh, the... The ghosts of Christmas is past. Yeah. Are there to be cherished. All right. That's lovely. Um, a tie. I don't need a tie. If we're all honest, you don't need a tie. You don't need a tie anymore. It doesn't serve any purpose anymore, does it? Uh, I mean, it used to be literally a tie. It's called a tie because you used to use a tie to tie your shirt together before we had buttons. It strikes me as odd that we invented shirts before we invented shirts buttons. But buttons were a long time coming. You used to just tie it together. And yet, now we wear them. We have these leftover bits of things that, if you think about them, come back to you and, and did have a purpose, and we have found ways to enjoy them. This is one of those bits I've started, and I don't know where I'm going with it. Make it up. Go with it. But it is fun, and it is good, and I don't need it anymore. And it's okay. I suppose that's what I think. I've still got ties in my wardrobe, right? That's what vicars do. I used to be a teacher. I had ties. I used to go to weddings, not just as a vicar, and I had ties. And now I don't. And they just hang there. And you know what? It's okay. There are also things that you will do in your Christian journey that you put down, and that season is past. But you get reminders of them now and then. You get to get them out and enjoy them with each other, and that's good. Thank you. Best I got. You've got... You've got Brudolph socks, the mystery present, and my cans of beer. Oh. I'll take whichever two you don't do. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I think it sort of feels like we're slightly running on empty at this point. Uh, but, um, well, beer. I'll always be grateful for ale. You know, you know, Martin Luther uh, is reputed to have said, beer is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. Exactly. Right? Yeah. It is also proof, and it's a good gift. Like, you get at Christmas, so I got beer, because that's the thing that I want, and my wife knows that I want it. It also turns out that my reader and his wife know that I like a blonde, because I got some salt air blondes, which is nice. So they got me beer. Sometimes God gives you things that we all know you need, and that's what you get from him. I bet you didn't know you needed some amusing beer-themed socks. Sometimes you get things that you didn't know you needed, and you get them, and you're delighted. So let us look out for those things. The other things that we should look out for, I'm going to finish with this, 
is that I know there are things coming to me over the next few years that I had never anticipated. I remember exactly this time last year, by, by a day or two, I was walking in Carverley Woods with my friends, and I knew you guys had just advertised for a vicar, and I was like, well, I'm not allowed to apply yet, right? So I'm still too early in my curiosity. I'm like, but still, it'd be nice to be vicar in Carverley. I, I could do that. It's a shame. I'm sure I'll end up somewhere lovely. And God seemed to have a gift for you in the shape of me. Sorry, the... <laughs> God seemed to have a gift for me in the shape of, of you all. This has been a real gift to find ourselves here. I didn't know what was coming. There was a mystery ahead of me. But, it, you know, sometimes you have to trust God. And if he wrapped it up, there's probably something good inside it. I don't know what's in here. Um, Brenda gave it to you. Well, you can trust her. She knows what she's doing. There are going to be things ahead of you along the way. And if you're paying attention, either there'll be something that delights you or something that you have no idea is coming. But just like that very first Christmas, where we were astonished and surprised to find the thing that we needed was a baby, there will be things that you need from Jesus that you don't know is coming, but you can trust that they are good. And I'm out. Okay. All that sweating about preparing for sermons. I don't think we don't need to do my that. Sermons. Yeah. Let's just wing it more often.